In this video, we walk through the new Apple News Plus service that Apple launched today at its media event in Cupertino. We also step through some of the other headlining features found in iOS 12.2, which just went live today. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. So the first thing we're going to discuss is of course the new Apple News Plus service which is found inside the Apple News app. Now you will need to upgrade to iOS 12.2 if you haven't already on your iOS device before you're able to use the News Plus service. News Plus gives you access to hundreds of magazines and leading newspapers and you can read magazines cover to cover, online or offline, and you can share with up to six family members for one monthly price of $9.99. New users get access to a one month free trial. So let's go ahead and walk through some of the features of News Plus. So you have the catalog here. This is just the overall catalog that shows everything News Plus offers. And as you can see, it's quite a bit, but you can break it down further by using the category buttons at the top. For instance, you have your featured category and Apple has a curation team working behind the scenes to select interesting content. So if you don't want featured, if you want to really hone in on a specific type of magazine, you can do so using each of these different categories. So for instance, you have business and finance, you have food, hobbies, outdoors, etc. And below the categories, you'll find my magazines. These are magazines that you're currently reading or that you've recently opened. Now you can download any magazine within Apple News Plus for offline reading. You see the download icon. In fact, let me go ahead and place the iPhone into airplane mode and there you can see that these two magazines are available offline. So I did already download those magazines. So say I was getting on a plane, I could read that entire magazine cover to cover thanks to offline mode. Very great feature to have if you travel a lot. Now under the My Magazine section, you'll find additional content. So you'll see things like first looks or you'll see articles that are suggested for you. For instance, this one here from ESPN. You'll find content from news sources like the Wall Street Journal. And when a new issue of a magazine that you may be interested in is available, it'll show you that new issue as well. And some magazines have those cool animated covers. Now for National Geographic, for instance, you can see that the magazine has been specifically designed with Apple News in mind. It's formatted to be easy to read. You have your nice table of contents with pictures. Just tap on it and that loads up the article and you can scroll down to read the article like that and you'll have images. You can tap on those images here and zoom in, you get captions below. So this isn't just a mere PDF. No, this has been specifically designed with Apple News in mind. So it's gonna be able to be formatted for the device you're reading on. Obviously the iPad is the best reading experience, but you can do so easily on an iPhone as well. And if the text is too small, you can adjust it just like that. You can also share an article, love the story, dislike a story, save it, etc. Now let me show you how magazines that aren't specifically designed with Apple News in mind look. They're basically just PDFs essentially. So in my opinion, these types of magazines prove to be better reads on a larger iPad like this. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments what you think about Apple News Plus thus far. But iOS 12.2 isn't just about Apple News Plus. There's other features as well, like new Animoji. So if you have a true depth camera enabled iPhone or iPad, you're gonna be able to access four brand new Animoji characters, starting with the one you saw at first, the giraffe. But there's also a shark. And these of course react to your facial expressions. So you saw the giraffe, you saw the shark. Here's the owl. Let's raise those eyebrows a little bit. There we go. And the final new Animoji character in 12.2 is the Warthog. So you have Giraffe, Shark, Owl, and Warthog. What character would you like to see next? And iOS 12.2 adds support for Apple's second generation AirPods. These feature longer talk time, quicker pairing, wireless charging, and more. Let me know if you wanna see a full review. And under the browse tab of the music app, you'll notice more editorial highlights on a single page. This will make it easier to discover new music, new playlists, and more. And here's something really cool about Siri in 12.2. You can ask it directly from your iPhone or iPad to play content 
on a nearby Apple TV. So you could say, hey, play the Maltese Falcon on the Office TV and it starts playing just like that. And you can control it right there using inline controls with Siri. So you can play, pause, skip back, skip forward, even access things like subtitles. You can even scrub or access your remote control, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. But first, let's talk about some of the new AirPlay features found in 12.2. So for music, for instance, notice the pulsating AirPlay icon in the music panel. Open that up, you can see a bigger AirPlay icon. That has changed a bit in 12.2. Now notice what happens when I play back a movie to my Apple TV. You're gonna get an AirPlay icon, but that icon is gonna be a little bit different looking to denote Apple TV playback. See the AirPlay icon there? All right. Now, like I showed you earlier, you have the inline controls for Siri. You have similar controls here right from Control Center. So you can play, pause, skip forward, skip back, access your subtitles like I showed you earlier. But here's something a little different. You can now access the remote control for your Apple TV just by tapping there. And you can see you get quick access to a newly redesigned full screen remote control for your Apple TV. And this will also be able to work in the future with television sets that feature AirPlay 2 connectivity. And not only can you access the remote from the now playing tile, but you can also access it directly from Control Center just by tapping on the remote shortcut. But that's not where it stops. From the lock screen, you can also access all of your now playing controls. And of course, you can access your remote right from the same location. Apple Pay also got 12.2 updates, including the ability to see your recent transactions under your card. You'll also notice that some of the interface elements around the wallet app have been redesigned, new buttons, etc. And in 12.2, you can instant transfer money from Apple Pay Cash to an eligible Visa debit. Now let's talk about Safari because it too received several updates in 12.2. So for starters, if you go into settings, go into Safari, you'll notice that the do not track toggle has been removed to prevent it from being used as a potential fingerprinting variable. And in 12.2, intelligent tracking prevention now protects against cross-site tracking by default. So no, no real surprise that Apple is doing this. It really just continues the company's stands on privacy overall. You know, privacy is a big deal with, with their various services that they offer. And it's also a big deal within Safari itself. And speaking of privacy, you'll now be prominently warned right in the address bar when visiting an unencrypted website. Now this feature is arguably the best new feature in iOS 12.2, no joke. This is the ability to insert autofill suggestions without submitting a search. So normally in Safari, what you would do, you would search, it would give you suggestions, and then you would tap on one of those suggestions and it would just search. So that meant that you could not build on the suggestion and flesh it out at all. But now you see those little blue arrows, you can actually build on the suggestion. So I'm gonna show you how. So I'm just gonna tap one of those blue arrows right next to Tesla Model 3. It inserts it in the address bar but it doesn't submit the search. So I can build on that by typing or by using additional search suggestions. This is a super handy feature. Screen time gets a couple of new updates for iOS 12.2, starting with the ability to configure downtime on a per day basis. Yeah, give those youngins some extra time on the weekend. And you also get the ability to quickly toggle app limits on or off by flicking a switch. So let me show you what I mean here. I'm gonna add an app limit. All right, let's go ahead and tap add. And now you see that little toggle switch. Now you can turn it off or on just like that. And of course, there are many bug fixes and improvements in 12.2. For instance, in the Maps app, you now get the air quality index right below the current temperature as you pan around. And you'll also see your device warranty details when you go into settings general about. So you can see there, Apple Care Plus has my expiration date and I can tap on it for more details, just like that. And you probably also noticed that the name of your device is also included as well on that slightly redesigned about page. And lastly, the HomePod gets an update to include support for joining most enterprise or university campus networks that do not require unique credentials to join. So ladies and gentlemen, headlined by the new News Plus service in the Apple News app, iOS 12.2 is now available to the public. What's your favorite new feature? Sound off down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.